Welcome back. Our next guest is Emily Barnes, who's part of the special events team over at 100 Kellogg's. And they've got an art comp that was an international art competition that she's going to come and talk to us about. Let's watch. Hello, Emily, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. No problem. So 100 Kellogg is having an art competition. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Tell us all about it. Okay, so it's an international art competition. Um, we opened up entries around the world and allowed artists, both professional and amateur, local, international. Um, you could submit up to three pieces. Um, so we received around 900 submissions. Um, yeah, crazy for our first year. Um, and then after the deadline, we had a large panel of our staff and like friends and family of 100 Kellogg um, select 100 of the pieces. And those pieces will be displayed throughout our property here from May until September. And the public can come vote all, all summer long. Um, and we have a panel of five judges as well. Um, so come September, there'll be two winners, a public's choice and a judge's choice and each winner will receive $100,000. That is amazing. $100,000 can change someone's life. Wow. I know, it's incredible. Wow, so how did this contest even come to be? So around a year ago, um, a seed was planted for the idea of an art competition. Um, and we knew immediately that we had to do it. Um, we are so passionate about art here. Uh, so we, we just, we got going and now here we are and we're about to launch our first art comp and we're so excited. So this is the first time it's being run. You had over 900 submissions and you had to whittle that down to 100 yes. and then it's going to go down to two. Yes, correct. Wow, that's amazing. And so there's some events that are kind of going along with this. Is that correct? Um, yeah, so staying with the art theme, um, after Art Comp ends in September, um, we have the Van Gogh exhibit coming here. So it'll be here in October. So it's a nice seamless transition um, and lots of art. Well, I'm sure you'll be back to tell us more about that one for sure. Yes, so this, this is exciting. And so how do people learn about this in terms of being able to submit their work? Because I'm hoping this is going to be an annual event. Yeah, of course. Um, so we launched it, we did radio and then social media, um, very heavy on the Instagram and Facebook. Um, and then word of mouth, I think a lot of people just found out um, one of their friends might have seen it or heard it and kind of gave them a call saying, hey, you should submit. Um, and then they ended up being one of the 100. Awesome. And so can people go to the website to find out how to like the process of applying? Yeah, so there, um, there was a link when we were accepting applications um, on our Instagram and Facebook. Um, and then it directed them to our award platform um, where they, they would submit and all the instructions were on there. Um, and then after the deadline, um, people can go and register to vote when once the exhibit opens. Um, you go online, you register and all the voting is done online. Awesome. And so what kind of art has been submitted? Like, are they all paintings or what, what, what kind of art? No, there's such a wide variety of art. Um, it's the energy in the building as we're preparing for this to launch next week is incredible. Um, we have everything from huge installations um, to interactive pieces. We have photography, drawing, paintings, like at anything you can imagine we have. It's, it's really amazing. And we love that because one of our goals here um, with Art Comp was to make art accessible and approachable as sometimes it can be intimidating. Um, so having it in such a central, just like amazing setting is just makes it really easy for people to like just stumble across art and just, you know, they might fall in love with it and become super passionate about it. Awesome. Well, Erin, thank you, or sorry, Emily, thank you so much for coming on today yeah. and sharing, sharing this with us. This is, a, it sounds amazing. Like I, I'm looking forward to seeing all the different types of art that's out there and I don't know how it's going to come down to two but yeah so so it launches um on the 28th 
Um, and then these little booklets will be um, available for purchase in our atrium. And it's a map. There's a map in it of all the pieces. There's information about the artists, the judges. Um, so it's really worth getting one of these. There's some vouchers for all of our businesses on site. You get some nice deals. Um, it's amazing. Well, thank you so much and good luck. Thanks for having me.